I, I I do enjoy our time together, not least at moments like this where I kind of just feel the need to offload on you. And and the thing I want to offload is how did this happen? Listening to Obama there, like a sort of voice of reason from 12 years ago, well, actually from four years ago, how did we end up in a place where the president talks about disinfectant being a, 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 a cure for COVID, injecting disinfectant? How do we end up in a place where 666 children have been separated from their parents and face the prospect of never being reunited because the policy was simply brought in to throw red meat at racists? Did you see the footage of the wall? It might have been fake, but it made me laugh. The, the, the fellow, the construction worker, who, who was thin enough to slip through the gaps between the wall, that, the bits of wall that now stand between Mexico and Texas. And all of this is hilarious until you look at the election results. I know he's still denying reality, but he's kind of always done that. It's the tens of millions of people that go along with him that are so heartbreaking and baffling and terrifying, you know? And those words from Obama a moment ago just reminding us of what normal looks like. Just not, you don't have to like him or dislike him. You simply have to agree on the basic laws of gravity. And yet here comes Donald Trump claiming that he can float freely through the sky and 70 million people will cheer him to the rafters and pretend that they've seen him do it. It is just incredible. And I know that conspiracy theories predate Donald Trump and they will last long after his departure from the White House, his imminent departure from the White House. But something does change, doesn't it? When people as powerful as that either fail to refute the lies that are being told around them or indeed endorse them. There's a QAnon, I think it's probably a state congress rather than the National Congress. But but a, a full-on QAnon disciple has been elected in the last month in America, I think to a state Congress. It may be the National Congress, I'm not sure. But it doesn't really matter, does it? That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And these are the people that Barack Obama, I mean, his voice there. I listen to the, can we listen to the shorter version again? We're not talking about this, but the... No, I just the end of it where he talks about the, the reality of he, who he is and how he is portrayed. You know, the idea that Hillary Clinton could be involved in a paedophile ring. And the, these are the moments where I lose it. Not, not the plot. I lose the thread. You know, if my life was rubbish and the people responsible for it being rubbish told me to blame Polish builders, I, I can see how I might, if the cards had fallen differently in my life, I might have fallen for that. If people who had spent 10 years railing against food banks used a foreign aid story to pretend that they suddenly care about, quotes our own, end quotes, I can see how I might fall for that. But the idea that Hillary Clinton's closest associates were running a secret paedophile ring from the basement of a pizza restaurant in New York and that Donald Trump is going to lead a fight back against an international cabal of children smugglers harvesting their blood to provide the Hollywood elite with elixirs of youth. That's where I lose it, I'm afraid. It's the, the, the willingness... Not just the ability. We're all capable of believing nonsense. It's the willingness to believe it. The, the, the idea that people got up in the morning and said, come and bombard me with your bonkersness and I will believe it all. These are the moments where I do wonder whether or not there were some forks in the evolutionary road and half of the species went one way and the other half went the other way.